everybody. I've got a five minute mini session. So I'm gonna be sharing a little energy work and wisdom for a client. So I'm gonna go ahead and read these goals here and then I'll be getting started. Okay, goals are to heal, to find out what I'm supposed to use my gift for, to connect with my father who is now in spirit. And I took a look, you shared some photos with me and some um, other background details, which was uh, quite extraordinary. <sighs> some uh, challenges that you've been through. So I'm just taking all of this in here and then I'm going to be getting connected. Okay. All right, I'm going to relax now. Let's see what comes forward here. Okay. So I experience what is, there's this big black wall, all right? And then I see you climbing this wall you don't look necessarily like a human in this image, more kind of like a praying mantis insect. So you have skinny um, arms and legs and you're more like an insect climbing this wall. It'd be a lot harder for a human being to climb a wall. Insects climb walls quite well. <laughs> so I'm watching you do this. All right, so there's some challenges to this wall here because I see when you get to the top of it, there's just another wall. So what is on the other side exactly? No matter how well you climb the wall, there's just yet another wall. So what does it matter if you can climb these walls? There's no other side. There's just a wall and then that wall turns into yet another wall. On the other side of it is literally yet another wall. So you're stopped for a moment. You're stopped in between two walls. <sighs> this is going to take some serious time. Uh, time to think. Because I, I tell you to come on down. Just come on down to the ground here. Let's take a look at what you're dealing with here. You've got to, you've got to, it's like you got to face the walls first. Once you face the walls, then we'll know what's on the other side of them, right? But there's definite walls here. And you're working on trying to get over this. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's like you try you get over one wall only to, to there's another wall there. <sighs> what do you do? What do you do when this happens? What do you do when you manage to scale a wall only to find yet another wall? <laughs> okay. What would help you get over these walls? You, you, in the end, the answer is you. You are the one that is going to help you get over these walls because what you learn from this process is what is going to help you access more of your role and your purpose here. Nobody can help you get over these walls. You, in the end, are the one who will get you there. Obviously, we're always, we, there's always options, there's always people to give us hugs and encouragement, but in the end, you have to be the one to do it. Let me see if I can bring your father into this. That's a, that feels like something, um, a totally different um, exploration, okay?
Because when I try to access your father, I feel like that's a whole nother <laughs> kit and caboodle there. Like there's a, I can't just bam, there's this angelic energy that's rooting you on. There's some hardship involved with this. Um, that's what they're showing me. So I can't just bam, give you all this information because there's stuff to discover here. Feels like something separating you, though, too, from your father's spirit. What would that be exactly? You're getting really exhausted. Because I see you now tr still trying to overcome the walls and you're now just a human and you have track shoes and you're running really fast and you're running up one of the walls but then you hit the second one and you just cannot figure out how to get over the second wall. And you keep trying. I mean, you get faster and faster with your track shoes. You can run straight up the side of a wall. Then you hit another wall. The second wall is just like something you cannot get over. And you're really wearing yourself out here. And you're breathing hard. So I actually take you and I turn you away from both walls and I say, let's go do something else. Too much time looking and trying to get over walls. There's other stuff. I can tell now what the separation is here between you and your father's spirit. It's the walls. It's the burden that they carry that separates you from him. When you turn away from the walls and you choose to take a new approach to life, that's when it's really easy to connect with him. I mean, like, easy. So it's interesting, if we're struggling in our life, we actually create distance um, from the love that we're wanting to connect with. Um, when we turn away from those burdens and choose a different approach, something more lighthearted, the love now can reach us, support us. There's still more to be said here about your father's spirit. It just seems like there's just a whole nother plethora of exploration we could do there with that. But you need to see this. You need to know this, okay? He shows me, um, it's, it's a feather. It's not like a pure white feather. It's like the feather of a hawk. Um, a feather that is brown, has brown colors to it. And then he hands you this feather. He's saying something interesting about sometimes um, not all, it's not always the white feather that is the prettiest. Sometimes um, a hawk feather could be far more magical than a white feather. He's saying something like this, that he likes that the feather is brown and, and, and it comes from a hawk. It's not a white feather. It's almost like White feathers are everywhere. Brown feathers, we need more brown feathers in this world. <laughs> Something like this, but it's a magical because it's from a hawk, though, too. And hawks are um, smart birds. You know, they're, I mean, they're hunters as well, you know, but they have that kind of, um, it's like the eagle, the, the majestic, mighty eagle, you know? A hawk has that level of um, value to it. <laughs> when you think of a hawk, it's up there. He just, uh, he just, uh, he really is putting a lot of energy into this feather, and he really wants you to feel the gift that he is sharing with you in spirit and he places it into your hand and I mean I can feel the energy from the feather and then in your palm in the palm of your hand and he says it's in the palm of your hand it's in the palm of your hand he says this you can feel it he says uh, thank you for turning away from the, the burden, the challenge, turning away from that. Um, 
so that he could speak to you, that you could receive the message. You got to turn away from that wall if you want to have this connection with love. It's the only way. Okay, that's it. <laughs> this was so neat. It's, it's hard to disconnect sometimes. Because it's just so, this, the messages can be just so interesting. And thank you very much for this experience. I really enjoyed connecting with you today. Thank you for sharing everything you shared with me and uh, for keeping your session open for others. And, um, and for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right. Thank you, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful day.